This is Embracing Digital This Week with Darren Pulsifer. This week's top stories. In cybersecurity news, Kaspersky reports a new malware dubbed Elegant, which features advanced espionage capabilities that has similarities to NSA-linked hacking tools. The cybersecurity firm has not attributed the malware to specific threat actor, but its discovery highlights the need for robust cybersecurity measures in the face of state-sponsored cyber attacks. CISA and HHS have launched a cybersecurity toolkit for healthcare organizations. The toolkit aims to enhance the industry's cybersecurity posture by offering valuable resources and guidance to mitigate cyber threats. The goal is to strengthen the critical healthcare infrastructure security given the rising number of cyber attacks and ransomware attacks on hospitals recently. Learn more at the CISA news page. California has implemented new cybersecurity regulations, including risk assessments, incident response plans, data encryption, and multi-factor authentication. It's critical for businesses in California to comply, as non-compliance may result in penalties and legal ramifications. Stay informed by checking up updates on the California Cybersecurity website. In edge computing news, the UK Parliament is investigating the cybersecurity of critical infrastructure, including energy, transportation, and healthcare. The inquiry aims to assess the readiness and resilience of these sectors against potential cyber threats. This move comes amid growing concerns over the vulnerability of essential services to cyber attacks. It highlights the importance of protecting vital services from digital threats in an interconnected world. The recent Israel-Hamas conflicts highlights the need to safeguard critical infrastructure from cyber threats. Tenable and Siemens Energy are partnering to improve industrial cybersecurity. The collaboration will merge Tenable's expertise in cybersecurity with Siemens Energy domain knowledge to provide advanced security solutions for critical infrastructure. The aim is to bolster protection for essential energy systems against evolving cyber threats. The significance of safeguarding critical infrastructure in an increasing interconnected world cannot be overstated. Singaporean banks DBS and Citibank suffered a service outage due to cooling system failure in their shared data center. The incident disrupted banking services and caused inconvenience to customers. Such incidents highlight the significance of robust data center infrastructure for uninterrupted financial services. The banks have since restored their services, emphasizing the critical role of technology in modern banking operations. In ubiquitous computing news, Amazon has launched an independent cloud service for Europe to meet the increasing data privacy concerns and regulatory requirements. The new cloud service aims to provide enhanced data sovereignty and security to European customers, while enabling organizations to leverage cloud computing in a more localized and compliant manner. The United States and Australia are collaborating on development of advanced quantum chips, This partnership highlights the increasing importance of quantum computing in national security and technology advancement. As countries strive to maintain their leadership in this critical area of research and development, joint efforts like these are becoming more common. The collaboration demonstrates the deepening cooperation between the two allies in science and technology. A recent report found that 40% of businesses are losing revenue due to technology downtime in managing cloud services. This highlights the importance of a robust IT and streamlined cloud management. Addressing downtime and simplifying cloud operations is critical to ensuring uninterrupted business operations and maximizing revenue. Read more about the report at Cloud Computing News. In Embracing Digital Transformation podcast news, a new series called Embracing Zero Trust begins this week. Dr. Anna Scott and Dave Marcus, who are special guests, will be describing the six pillars of zero trust and how they can be utilized in existing infrastructure. Meanwhile, Darren's Embracing Generative AI continues with Sonny Stevie, a human factors expert from Lidos. That's it for Embracing Digital this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, 
Check out our full-length weekly podcast, Embracing Digital Transformation, and check out our website, embracingdigital.org. Until next week, go out and do something wonderful.